finger to Dom to Vinnie Murphy taking a rapid reply oh dear it's a magnificent goal oh dear I'm sure he was going for a point but he's found the top right hand corner of the net well when Vinnie Murphy gets possession here he obviously goes for a point and the ball drops low across the goal and right into the far corner very hard for Niall Conley to have done anything with it look what Dwyer you see in the background there with the Kildare team of selectors done a really marvellous job of course to bring his team through to this national final he's boosted the hope and confidence of a great footballing county football support may have been lying dormant for some years but it's certainly come alive in the past six months Martin Lynch knocking one on brilliantly to Darren McKevitt the team captain striking with his left boot accurately so and there's another one till their second point has come from the team captain from Nace Darren McKevitt Kennedy towards Vinnie Murphy superb handling glue like fingers he held on to it but the pass intercepted by Bill Sachs 30 meters out from his own goal into the center again a very congested center he breaks on to Tom Harris getting by him and here is would be challenged Darren McKevitt opening up the play on the right hand side taking Kieran Walsh out of position perhaps there's a gap in there which they might well exploit Oh, it's a great save by John O'Leary of Travis Gilroy. There was a gap, there was a shot, but it was a fantastic save. Well, not for the first time, John O'Leary has saved Dublin's colours. And finally, it's Bill Sex who intercepts that attempted pass forward by Charlie Redmond. A great chance for Kildare here to get a goal. And a brilliant save by John O'Leary, out very fast. Yeah, one of the saves of the season so far by John O'Leary. Now Paul McLaughlin nonchalantly knocking it forward into the path of Darren McKevitt who's really started to move away from the full forward position which is suiting Dublin in a way because they are bringing men forward like Tommy Carr here. Here he is now 45 minutes out from the Kildare post across towards Donald McCarthy's wing. Trying to get by David Dawson's challenge. Good block down but it falls nicely for Vinnie Murphy and he adds to the goal that he got in the six and a half minute. All the Dublin scores so far coming from play indeed the entire set of scores in the match coming from play the hop favours Tom Harris Paul Carr trying to get back in front of him Harris knocking it across but only as far as the very vigilant and alert Mick Deegan he reads the game so well good long lengthy ball down to the two man attack Mick Galvin and Billy Murphy and it's John Crofton who's read that situation well the pass doesn't go anywhere however except as far as Charlie Redmond on the 45 meter line knocking one in towards Takshidi Goodness me, Jack Sheedy hit it instinctively, but couldn't keep it down. Brilliantly fetched by Martin Lynch. Inside for Kerrigan. Dowling in a very advanced position. Hit with the left boot. Oh, comes off the crossbar. Very unlucky. Back down to Jarlick Gilroy. Fisted, and it's touched over by John O'Leary. Well, so near yet so far they get the point it's a consolation score but they might well have had a goal Dublin conceding 14 frees so far in the second half and Mick O'Dwyer and his team hoping to capitalise a bit more on it I think he realises now they're really in with a big chance of lifting their first National League trophy a tall order for a team that came up from Division 3 just 12 months ago this is Seamus Dowling the free man fisted away by Mick Kennedy could have gone anywhere instead it goes into the arms of Mick Deegan a real little pickpocket of a player out here it goes to Paul Curran knocked into space but they're really hitting the ball hopefully and Paddy O'Donoghue was mopping it up Kerrigan back to Paul McLaughlin driven in there's the minimum in this game McLaughlin defiantly raises that left fist his fifth point of the match and now there's just a solitary point in it but right now it's Dublin who lead by a point Tom Harris carrying the weight and expectations of an entire county on to McEvitt off the post and agonisingly wide left footed outside towards Vinnie Murphy John Crofton that's behind it runs on over there and that's Jack Sheedy trying to round Paddy O'Donoghue Kieran Duff was waiting for it again a couple of valuable seconds will be used up here Jack Sheedy the injured party a minute and 20 seconds played now. 
Vinnie Murphy, a goal and a point to his credit. Waits inside as Charlie Redmond prepares to take this free for Dublin. He's hit it well, Charlie's put it over the bar. What a time to get your first point of the match. It may well be the point that would ensure Dublin's victory. That it is because the referee has gone for the ball and it's the Dublin fans and the Dublin players who are in celebratory mood.